Ray. That look like Billy Ray. You look like Joe Bob Neighbor. <laughs> He was one of the best to ever play the game and took the Pittsburgh Steelers to four Super Bowls. He's also one of my best friends, and nothing pleases him more than when he beats me fishing. Hey, yes! Yeah. Come on in here, you 10-pound load, you! Get on up and dance, Bunker Terry! You know I'm gonna turn you loose. Come over here, boy! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ain't nothing to it, is it, son? Another whopper. Yeah. Another whopper. <laughs> oh, I'll see you in a couple of months. Put on a little weight, will you? Like a dee -dee -dum -dee -dum. So you made your living fishing, huh, Buck? Boy, I tell you, you got to go some to convince me you know anything about fishing. <laughs> I believe I caught that fish right by your line, didn't I? <laughs> you big old turkey. <laughs> turkey my foot. You know, it's a different story when I beat him. Mm-mm-mm. Holy cow. Look Did at not Oh, it? my gosh. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Those them worm tricks. Holy mackerel. Yeah, that's right. You folks see it, the man at the front of the boat got a lot better view of what's going on than the guy at the back. Why is it that I always catch the big fish? I just fishing? said it, because you're at the front of the boat. He's always got an excuse, but what gets him even more is when he's got to pay off. This time it costs the boy a hundred pieces of Kentucky Fried Yard Bird. My, my, my. There's so many unforgettable moments, like this one here, when one of the country's best banjo pickers couldn't pick it. One more time, quick. Not that. Well, I'll try. Well, one more time. <laughs> I felt that cloud coming. Okay. It took some time on that $8 banjo, but when we got things tuned in, we knocked it out. boys. Hey, take a look at this beautiful creature who has disguised itself so many times over the years just to go fishing with me. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Are you Billy Dance? Hi. Hi. Are you William Dance? Yeah, afraid so. I've followed you all over this country. I love to fish and my husband, he just won't take me fishing. And I love to fish. And could I get in the boat with you? You mean now? Yes. I want to fish with you. I followed you everywhere, Mr. Dance. And I would love to get in the boat with you and fish with you. Well, I don't know what my wife would say about that. You married? Yeah, I'm married. All well, my life. I don't see your wife. Well, she's not she's not in the boat with me. Well, that's okay. Uh why don't you just ease it over here to the side and I can get in with you? I don't know. Boy, my wife can get pretty mean. I don't know what my wife will say. Well, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean any harm. I'm a happily married uh, woman, lady, and um, I'm sure it will be. I just, I love to fish. My husband, he don't like to fish, and I love to fish. And if you will just let me get in there with you, I will prove to you that I am a fishing lady. Well, I'm bluegill fishing now. Well, that's okay. Well, okay. Any Come kind on. of fish. All right, we'll go out for a little while. I don't know about this. Well, don't you fish with women? Yeah, I fish my wife and my daughter. But, well, I, how are you? Oh! 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 oh. oh. Don't you try nothing now. I'm not, just kidding. <laughs> Can you make it, baby? Oh, baby! <laughs> Whatever. I just got him. You're always calling me baby. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. That was a close one. 
You know, we hadn't fished 10 minutes when she said she was going to take off her hair, and I asked her how she was going to do that. Like this. What in the world is going on? <laughs> you, oh. oh. <laughs> then I asked her, I mean him, why he'd go to all that trouble. Well, you don't ask me to go uh, fishing with you anymore since I told you that I like to, that I like to fish for carp. You're right, Melvin. I ain't much on carp. Never have been and never will be. Hey, you know,